You can learn a lot about truck driving in training school, but you can learn a lot more, a lot more quickly from actual truckers. AT transportation could probably double your home time. If you're one of those drivers who's gone away from home for two or three weeks, you don't need to be. If you're missing too much at home, give AT a call. Their contact info is below. On this episode, we're looking to interview truck drivers with lots of experience. Let's go see who's out there. Everybody, Roger is here, 26, 27 year veteran truck driver. Yep. Thank you for your commitment well, to no bringing problem. people their stuff. We appreciate that a lot. As the um, saying goes, if it wasn't for us, the country would stop. That is for darn sure. Everything stops. Oh yeah. Carl, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for sharing some of your wisdom with us. Well, this guy we, is, ain't, we ain't figured out if it's wisdom We yet ain't started not. yet. This guy is a legend in the truck driving world. Started driving in 1977. Yep. Been driving 45 years. So why don't you tell us how you got started? Well, uh, my neighbor had a, the old timers will know what I mean by this, a single stack Mac with a window in the back. He did a lot of farm stuff. We were out in the field getting corn picked and, and the grain box was getting full and the weather was coming. And he said, Carl, you got to take this into town. And I kind of went, uh, okay. He says, you've been driving around enough, take it into town, just don't run nothing over. So that's how I started. That's how you get started. Don't run nothing over. Yeah. That's pretty good advice. What do you think trucking companies don't teach or CDL schools don't teach that's important to start out with? Well, like I said, when I, went, when I started, it was a 10 week course. Yeah. Now you start the class and you're out within like three weeks. Yeah. You're not taught the right ways to back up or none of it we're right. doing the paperwork and nowadays even these major companies are having to go to automatics because these kids are coming out of school and they're restricted to just an automatic right. they don't know how to drive a stick what advice do you have for young drivers how can they start off well what's it take patience okay i mean don't get impatient Okay, I've heard that before. When don't. When you're driving down the highway, you drive down the highway, and if somebody cuts you off, don't get mad at it. Just patience. If you're patience. in traffic, you're in traffic. Who cares? I have heard that before. If you're going to be late with a load, be late with that load. Okay, as long as you communicate with everybody. Yep, and be patient. Okay. That's, that's my biggest thing is patience. What, what's, your, what's your advice for somebody that doesn't know how to move their tandems even? Well, the tandems are pretty easy, really. Because that's all you got to do is just set the trailer brakes. Not anything else, just the trailer. And these newer trailers, like what we use, has a uh, an air release. There's a little button back there by there. You just pull it and automatically pulls the pins. And then, yeah, what you might want to do is get you like a piece of chalk or something and figure I out. I like that. I like that a lot. When you move your tandems forward, that puts more weight on the back of the trailer. All right. When you move them back, that brings the weight up. All right. Is there some kind of calculation you can do based on the distance? On an average, the holes? on the average, the whole each hole is about 250 pounds. All right. On average. So if you figure if you're so many pounds over, on now, well, okay, I got to move it back so many holes. Hey, can I ask you a question? That is the magic phrase right there. That phrase will unlock the answers to every question you have about squeezing into tight parking spaces, how to keep your diesel fuel from gelling in the cold winter months and, and navigating around Nashville traffic and how to make the most possible money as a truck driver. That is the question you should start asking older, more experienced truck drivers, the guys you meet uh, at truck stops and rest areas. And then you take their wisdom and you use it to benefit you in your career. And then you thank them and you honor them and keep in touch with them. Older drivers want to help younger drivers. Carl from this episode has been a truck driver 45 years. And Danny from episode three, 43 years experience, but hardly anybody asks them for their advice, wisdom, their, their help. You should. Just look for a little salt and pepper 
in a guy's beard, go up to him and smile and say, hey, can I ask you a question? And if you actually do what they say, your career and your life will get better. Let's get back to the interviews. What are some things that you struggled to learn when you started? What was hard for you? The usual, backing. Uh, judging the distance of stopping. Oh yeah. You know, especially with me, I was running a grain box, which I was pushing the ground. It's supposed to be 80,000 max. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't have a scale between the farms and the town. Uh -huh. so. And knowing how to stop. Then you gotta figure out knowing how to turn. Yeah. That's hard, it takes a lot of reps, doesn't yep. it? Yep. Um, then you get where, okay, down Florida one time, I don't remember where, I was in kind of a uh, shopping complex and I had to do a right hand turn. So I took over half of the turn lane and I was gonna swing out wide and some intelligent woman decided to slip her little car in and I clipped her. Oh no. No matter what you think you look enough, Look one more time. Look one more time. Wow. And if you think he's looked enough, look one more time. <laughs> look one more time. Good advice. What about turning? When is there a certain point that you look at on the street? Do you have alignment aids, or how do you do it for turning? It depends on which way you're going. Okay. But, either, but both ways it, it works. Let's say a right turn. A right turn where you know it's a little tight. What's your What's your thought process? On a real tight right turn, you have to do what they call a button hook. Okay. To set up for that, as you're coming up to that intersection, you gotta take that tight right turn. You do it in a such a way you actually are over, but you start to weave over in that next lane. So or you're leaving your trailer, part of your trailer in that lane. Or otherwise somebody's gonna sneak up next to you. Right. And the next thing you know, you ran over. Right. I know I know as a driver you, you weren't as close to your kids as you maybe wanted to be. You didn't get to spend as much time with your own kids as you as you thought you should. But what do you think they learned by watching you all these years? Hopefully dedication. Dedication. You know, it ain't as hard as it used to be. It used to be you pick up the phone and you call collect. Right. Nowadays, I got a phone in there that I can video conference anybody I want to video right. conference. So. That's right. What do you have in your truck that's maybe unique? Do you have a fancy TV, Xbox, I, air fryer? What do you got? I have an air fryer, I have a 15 inch flat screen TV, hey. a DVD player, a refrigerator, and a George Foreman grill. A that George I just Foreman got, grill? Yes, that I just got for Christmas from girlfriend's son and his girlfriend. Good stuff. And I love it. Are you a, what do you listen to while you're driving? Are you an 80s rocker dude? You got a little Guns N' Roses, a little alternative rock, a little Nirvana? What do you got? What do you got going? Well, I don't listen to alternative rock. All right. And I really don't like this new, this new age country. You like classic country? The old country. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I'll listen. I'll listen to country, and I'll listen to the oldies. There you go. As I'm going down the road, you know. That's fun. That's fun. I'm not the most computer literate type person there is, but I've been learning. I've been teaching myself to learn. Simple as that, man. You got to do it. You got to do it. That's great. You're never too old to learn something new. That's for sure. That's for sure. So I'm always so you're up learning. For learning something new. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's great. So, great use yeah. of time. Well, yeah. Roger, I appreciate, again, your commitment to driving a truck, man, all those years. No problem. Dang. Uh, thank you for what you do. Thank you for coming on the show today, sharing some of your wisdom with us. Because no like I said, there's there's ladies and gentlemen out there watching who just got their CDL who are saying, I don't know about this turning stuff back and you, know, you helped us. Thank you. Well, if you're just starting out, the best thing to remember, yeah. don't be afraid of the truck. Don't be afraid of the truck? Yeah, because a lot of them are looking at the truck with it being so big. Yeah. They're scared of it. Right, you gotta go with confidence. Even, even with getting into it, they're, right? they're scared. Yeah. And that's a good way to cause an accident. All right. Which you don't want to do. Sure don't. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what the veterans know that the new guys and ladies maybe don't. So we're going to be telling you about it. 45 year veteran. Thank you, Carl. Yeah. All right. You be cool. You, you too, man. Take care. Thanks, man. Nobody talks to older people anymore. In the past, people did. They accelerated their own educations and careers and lives by asking questions, by listening.
the previous generations and by doing what they suggested. And we on actual truckers are gonna do that. You're gonna love it. And you're gonna learn a ton. So keep watching. Check out our other videos as well. Uh, outtakes are coming up right now. I'm Rob Biaggi for AT, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, seriously, God bless you, man. Talk about commitment and dedication. Ah, oh, man. There ain't no load worth your life. Ain't no load worth your life. Take it easy. Take it I easy. Mean, that's it. Do you drive by the Alabama state sign and ever not sing Sweet Home Alabama? <laughs> okay, I put my half hour in trouble. See you, buddy. Thanks, man.